How's it going, people? Welcome to another review by me. Welcome back, subscribers. And if you aren't a subscriber, well, hit that subscribe button. Not this one, because you can't actually click it. The one down below. Click on that one. Yeah, you'll go further. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so I have just been to see a new film. I have literally just been to see the new Gerard Butler starring movie. Cop Shop. That's right. This has got Gerard Butler, um, Frank Grillo, Alexis Lauder, and Toby Huss are your four main players in this film, right? This film is quite worth a watch, yeah? Um, it's a, like, it's, it's a new original sort of tale, like I say. Um, it's, it's fresh. It's a fresh film. It's not a reboot or anything like that. Um, <coughs> it's an interesting premise as well. So basically, um, the film takes place inside of a police station in a um, place called Gun uh, Guntown or Gun County, something like that. Gun County, I can't remember. Like, but basically, you know, it's going to be an action romp like from the start, and it is that. It's an action. I'd say it's more of an action comedy sort of romp sort of thing. Um, like I can say it's about one guy who Frank Frank Grillo, Teddy, he plays Teddy. He is start we start off following him, he's on the run. Like he's in the like, you know, he's he's just on the run from well, police and a mysterious figure. Okay, so he goes up to he goes up to a police well goes to a, like goes up to a policewoman by um, called Valerie Young, played by Alex Alexis Lauder. Um and he just basically fucking slugs her, he <laughs> punches her, like so she so that she arrests him, right? So she arrests him and takes him back to the cop to the cop station, to the cop shop. Uh, and when they're when well obviously so he wants to be arrested. Um and then when he gets there, like um another person gets arrested for DUI and locked up in the cell opposite to him. And then it turns out that that person is actually a hitman who's out to get him, played by Gerard Butler. Um, by the character name of Vidic. So yeah, and like, as I say, he's a hitman. Um, and then, and, <laughs> so whilst they're locked up, another hitman shows up to take out Frank Grillo's character as well, um, called Anthony Lamb. Or, going by the new, uh, more or less, uh, formal uh, Tony, <laughs> played by Tony Huss. T Tony? Toby Huss. Um, and yeah, and the whole thing is just basically a big old who's gonna who's the lesser of the evils basically um obviously alexis louder's character as the rookie cop sort of thing she she is in the middle of all of this she's trying to figure it out she's the good she is the good guy like and like she's she's our like she's our hero i guess you could say um and she's awesome she's like she's like a very believable badass cop like you know what i mean you wouldn't want to fuck with her you know, she's like take no shit sort of woman like, and it's like she's really good. Like I say, the character's awesome. She's great, like with an old fucking revolver gun and stuff. Oh man, she's bad. It's a really, really badass man. Um, and then obviously Gerard Butler. Okay, yeah, he can't do an American accent, and but he tries. He does try, but again, he's that very, you know, dark sort of, you know, gruff kind of guy, you know. But he's a bad guy, but a good guy. I guess in this, in the end, sort of thing. Um, Frank Grillo as well, obviously, he's... You're not sure whether he's a good guy or a bad guy and stuff. The only real one who you know is a definite, like, yeah, that guy is a bad guy, is Toby Huss's Anthony Lamb. He's a psychopath. Like, he's, like, literally fucking crazy. Um, but, yeah, it's... It's well paced that's why one thing i really enjoyed about this it didn't feel slow um kind of like how like nobody like when i saw nobody at the start of the year like that film again really well paced um you, you keeps going right to the end and by the end of it like i was like oh man I, I, they could they, there's still some more here they could they could drag out which they might very well do i mean i hope this film gets some sort of sequel like that would be interesting because i'd like to see where the story leads to um, because, like, yeah, this is a, but it also could be a self-contained story this is as well, like, because it all happens in one place and stuff. Um, 
there's a good supporting cast as well. Like, I mean, that's something I really appreciated because obviously we, the 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 people we are like kind of like the innocents really in this are the cops. The cops are like the innocent ones. They're the ones who are caught in the crossfire of this craziness, like these county cops. Um, and like, um, yeah, and like the the character introductions and character development are really good because I actually start you actually start to get on a level with the cops. You start to like, and then when bad things start happening, you really do start like feeling for them like well i did anyway like so um but yeah i mean that's that 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 to me is a sign of like you know it's a good makes it a good um a good well told like you know character story like you know because even the side characters i started to sympathize with and it was just like whoa yo it's like yeah 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 really good um like i say the cinematography um is really interesting like say that there's a scene in there where it goes into like um like a shower room and stuff like that like kind of like a locker room sort of like, like area like, and like the way that that's all lit and like you know they use steam and things like that like for that whole thing it's kind of cool little like cat and mousey sort of sort of scene um the one thing i will say that made me like the only thing only thing to do with the cinematography that made me go uh was the use of day for night um, there was quite a bit of day for night on in the outside shots, um, and like and there there is like you know there is a loose end in this film. This film does have a loose end that I do feel needs tying off, but that's if it, this film ever warrants a sequel. Well, I say whether it gets a sequel or not, depending on how well it does. Um, but yeah, there is a there is a big loose end like in this film. So, um, which is like I say, hopefully if they do make a sequel, they'll answer they'll answer the things that they left open. Like, um, but yeah, like I say, I had a lot of fun. Had a lot of fun with it. It is very funny in bits. Like I say, it's very dark comedy and like sort of thing. There are some obvious bits of humor, but there are some really dark comedy bits. Like, and the the action is really good because it's all done in close quarters. Like, it's not really like spread out like too much it's just in this police station like so uh, yeah that made it more um high octane i guess because it's like you know um there's not really much room for running um but yeah um and it gets to a point where you start to yeah you start to really um fear for like what's going to happen and stuff I don't know, like I say, I don't want to give away spoilers because if I say too much, I'm going to give away like spoilers about it. Like, But let's put it this way, like every character has a real good bit of development, like, and they are, like I say, they're not clear cut. The only two clear cut characters in this film are um, Valerie, the rookie, um, and Tony, the psycho, right? They're clear cut because Alexis Lauder's Valerie is a definite good guy she's a definite good cop and then obviously anthony lamb toby huss's character is a definite fucking psychopath and a, an evil bastard um whereas everybody else you kind of like you, you you question you do question which is good i enjoyed i enjoyed that element of it like you know so um yeah what am i gonna give cop shop in the end then i'm gonna give this i'll give it three and a half stars yeah i wouldn't say it's quite four star film but it's definitely better than a three-star film. Um, like I say, the pacing is is good, um, and yeah, it's um, like I say, don't expect like you know, Oscar-winning stuff here. Like if you if you want a good good time, good action comedy sort of thing, like with 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 a good like sort of guessing element to it as well, like then yeah, I think you'll have fun with this. So yeah, definitely worth checking out. Definitely worth checking out. So yeah, anyway, that's my review for Cop Shop. Three and a half stars. Cool. Well, thank you for joining me and sitting through that review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed, like I say, please subscribe. And there's plenty more to come. Like I say, I've got my dad jokes. I've got my um, stuff that I read, like totally useless facts and things like. I've got my Saturday live stream. So, and obviously plenty more reviews and things like that to come. So yeah, definitely worth subscribing. And it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe, does it really? So, you know, you're getting stuff for free. How good is that? Right, cool. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say for now. I hope you're all having a great day. And I hope you all continue to have a great day. Um, today is actually quite a special day. Today is um, 
like International Suicide Prevention Day. So I will say this, if you are feeling down, then please reach out. There are numbers. Please just do a Google search and you will find numbers and stuff like that. Or reach out to a friend, reach out to a family member. Just talk to people, yeah? Don't be alone and don't like think you're on your own, all right? You're not on your own. There are people out there who care. Um, yeah, trust me, there really are some genuine people in this world, all right? Just hold in there, you know. You deserve to be here just as much as the rest of us, okay? Anyway, that's enough of that. Like I say, keep smiling. If you're not smiling, then please try and find your smile, and I hope that you do. Okay. Peace, love, and happiness, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!